welcome to my channel. I'm Lee Jo and I'm so happy that you clicked on this video. I hope you enjoy the swatches that I have for you today, which are Juvia's Place. Oh yes. <clears throat> we had to check out Miss Juvia's Place. So I know that you guys have been checking out the reviews and you've seen all of these lipsticks, but you haven't seen it on me yet. So don't click off my channel. Don't be mean stay thank you so i have all of the lipsticks except for two i don't have mademoiselle and i don't have um kebby mademoiselle i actually just ordered a couple of hours ago with my wahala palette because i've been thirsting after that palette i want it so bad but since i didn't have the wahala palette to use i use little baby wahala their festival palette this was released before Wahala, but I still like it. It's a beautiful palette, and I love this blue in there. The blue, um, let me fix my lash. <laughs> the blue in here, Abba, is gorgeous. That's what's primarily on my eye. I did not start off this look thinking, oh, I'm gonna go blue or go home. I did not start that way, but my hand took over. She went into the blue, and I just like, oh, okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, this blue is gorgeous. It's actually a shimmery blue, which I like, and I didn't realize that until I started, like, putting it on, but it's beautiful. I also use these two colors. Um, what is this? Eerie Jai. Eerie Jai and Ofala. Ofala and Eerie Jai. I use these two. Which you can kind of see through the black. I don't know if you can or you probably can't. But I started off with that and I was like, mm, no, I want something smoky. So I didn't use this one. No, I didn't. I went into their other palette. Their, um, what's it called? Oh my gosh. Their Warrior 2 palette. I don't know where I put it. Where is the Warrior 2? Anyway, I went into their Warrior 2 palette and I went... I use that deep, that black, the only black in that palette. Anytime I do smoky eyes, smoky anything, I love using that black in the Warrior 2 palette. It's gorgeous. So those are the two main colors that you see here. And that's how I created this look. I'm lying. I forgot. For a little extra bang, I went into the quad. I had to I had to break it out, y'all. It was so fitting. Look at this blue. Then look at that blue. I put this a little bit on top just to give it like an added shimmer. Whew. I got my whole life. Anyway, to find out what's on my lips and about these uh Juvia Place products, specifically the gloss, which I love. Keep watching. First shade I'm going to start with is Libra. Libra. I'm starting with the Peach Collection. Oh, these are very soft. And they smell really good. I haven't swatched them at all, y'all. So, this is my very first. Very nice, Libra. Wow. And if you want to, you could add the liner, but you see my lips. So, I mean, if I wanted to be extra, um, you know, uh, precise, I could add a little liner for depth, but I don't think I will. Because I kind of like the, ooh, pimple. Ooh, I hate these things. Sorry. In Vogue by Juvia's Place. Oh, I think I like In Vogue a lot. Yeah, I do. Uh-huh. See, this is why I'm not really a matte person because a lot of the mattes, um, you, you know, they're made to like blend in with your skin. So I do have to go with the mattes that, for me, the way I like mattes, I go with the mattes that are made for lighter skin tones because I feel like it pops more. And I don't just want a mat that's just there. 
Oh, this is nice. This is so pretty. They are very buttery. Powdery. You know what the formula is like? The Gucci formula. Um, and here's the swatch on my hand before I wipe it off. The Gucci formula. That's what this reminds me of. It's powdery, but it's not um, fully matte. Which, that's not my favorite type of formula, but it works for a lot of people. A lot of people like that formula. Now, these feel amazing. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying my preferred formula is not this powdery type of, um, I don't know. It's powdery and smooth at the same time. I don't know. Next shade is Me by Juvia's Place. Me, 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 me. I like this component. It's like big. Like you can grip it. You can grip it. You don't have to. Oh, oh it's going to fall. It's not falling. You can grip this. Hey, okay. I like it. So this is like my lips, but just a little more pink. This is definitely a nude for me too. These are nice. These are very comfortable. And they smell nice too. I just love. Y'all. These hair wraps are killing me. I love it. This is a mauve moment. This is their pinky nudes. They had four shades in peachy nudes, pinky nudes, and then they have the chocolate uh, nudes. So I pretty much have all of them, like I said, um, but just missing two, which is Mademoiselle and Kebby. I feel like this is close to Kebby. Like I wouldn't want a pink darker than this for me. Yeah, because again, this is kind of like my, <laughs> yeah, my lip. Oh, this is nice. You don't even need much. Like, I will go in and layer it, but you don't need to because it actually starts messing up the formula. So I'm going to leave it at that. You really just need like a swipe and a half, a swipe and a dot. You don't need <laughs> much. These are gorgeous. Oh, I love. Chic. Is it upside down? No, it's not. Chic. Actually, I'm going to put the name anyway. Ooh, this is nice. See, this is that pale one that I was talking about. This is really why I didn't get Mademoiselle because I was like, I'm getting the pale pink one. Like chic. Ooh. Uh-huh. We like chic. Cover those lines up, chic. Do it. Do it. Blah, blah, blah. So, I love this color a lot. The next lot. shade is 2020 by Juvia's Place. I'll swatch it like over here. She kind of stained a little bit, even though it's a light pink. Like, it just kind of stained. This is pretty. That's 2020. Oh yeah, this is nice. Mm -hmm. Then I'm just gonna do my cheating. Blot it out. nice and let me show you what it looks like next to sheet because you might be thinking that it's the same color but it's not um they all have like their very subtle like differences which i like i do like that she did um that 
in these formulas. Like it's just subtle, subtle changes. Like so, okay, here is chic. Right? And this is um 2020. So chic in 2020. Chic in 2020. I wanted to use the liner with um chic in 2020. And I might actually go back with the brown liner for the peachy nudes. I might in that um in that I'll insert that like at the end of the video. But this is Scorpio by Juvia's Place. This is their, I guess it's a burgundy color um, type liner. And I'm just gonna line Mm, let's blend that out. Yeah, just a little bit. And so let's see what it does for Chic. I really like Chic. Um, oh, this is 2020. I put it in the wrong box. Oh, good thing I looked. Chic. Let's see what it does for this. Yeah, that's nice. They're very soft, oh man. And they move well. So, Scorpio and Chic. I went in place. with Scorpio aligner again, and now I'm applying 2020. So, yeah. I like this one alone, honestly. Let me put a little bit more just to clean it up. Yeah. So this is Scorpio in 2020. All right. Now it's time for the chocolates. I'm excited. We're going to start with, um, oh, should I start with? Okay, mute it. Mute it. By Juvia's Place. Ah. Look at this. This is a problem. I already know. This is a problem. Look. Muted. Don't mute me. Oh, mute me. <gasps> Y'all, it's like. These are very smooth, very milk chocolate, and I'm trying to control myself from going in because you don't have to go in, but y'all, this is nice. Okay, so I'm going in with cold brew by NYX or NYX or, right, I already got the better, you know, most of my lip. And now I'm going back in with Muted.
Now that's nice. If you don't, you know, see, it was just a little, little teeny bit of a swipe. These are amazing. I'm adding more because I can. But see, that looks really good with this liner. I went with cold brew. The reason why I like cold brew liner is because it's not too, too brown. You could go with the darker brown if you want to and then just go in with a lighter hand. But I like cold brew because it's not deep, the deepest, almost blackish brown. It's still a deeper brown, but without going to the dark side. I love, I love muted. And I'm going to wear this somewhere. This is a nice work color, you know, for those of us that can't do this, you know, all these colors and stuff at work. This whole line is for you, sis. My neutral Nancy's. Juvia heard you. Ooh, the next shade is Lady. This is another one I think a lot of us was like Googling over, like, oh, Gaga over. Yeah. This is nice, 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 nice. And I can really leave this like this because that is my lip. That's my nude. That's that's me. The next um, shade is toffee. Toffee? I don't think toffee does much for me. But it's still pretty and smooth. So this is toffee. By Julia's place. The final lipstick shade is Coco. Hey, Coco. Hang it on, girl. Hey. <laughs> Coco. <laughs> That's why I feel like you should say Coco. So, this is not just brown. This has like a um, burgundy thing to it. And colors like this, when they're not deep enough, they do not look good on my skin tone. But let's see. This look good though. Oh, except for this one. Yeah. Okay. I see it. Cause it's more of a dark. Mm, 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 mm. I love this. I like this a lot. It has a hint, just a hint, a pinch of the burgundy. But it's definitely deep enough for my skin tone. Like, if it was a little bit lighter, I couldn't do it. This is cocoa. And this is what it looks like built up to oblivion. <laughs> I like building up my colors. That's what I like to do. Especially dark colors, I can really build them up. I feel like I need to fix it. It's like lump sided or something. Anyway... Coco is definitely, yeah, this is weird. I don't know what I was doing, but I did it wrong. Anyway, we like Coco. Coco is, of course, going to be one of your um wintertime colors if you are one who follows the seasons and things like that i like coco i like coco a lot now it's time for the glosses i purchased three of the glosses beautiful design still with the same head wrap and um everything going on i love it 
Which one should we do first? I'm going to start with Carmel Rose. Right? Caramel, Carmel. How do you say it? Carmel, Caramel, Caramel. Ooh. Okay, Caramel Rose. <laughs> That's a perfect description, too. Because it has that little hint of uh, red in it, but it's a caramel color. These smell good, y'all. Oh my goodness. So, let's talk. The, the doe foot applicator, I love big doe foot applicators because... You don't have to work so hard for them. This is beautiful. Very nice. Is that a tingle? Oh no, it's... I don't think it's a tingle, I, but my lips are tingling. I think it's probably the wipes. From the wipes. It's not from, it's not definitely not from this. Because I don't smell any peppermint, anything. But look at this. This is a beautiful, beautiful neutral gloss color, but it has a big payoff. If you're a lighter skin tone, this is going to be like pow on you. Like, but this is definitely neutral on me. It's not a glass finish. Like, I like them, but let's see if she can build up to it. Build up to it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah, de definitely. Oh. The next gloss is Kiss Me. I'll put it over here because that's still stained. That's Kiss Me by Juvia's Place. I really like the smell of these. The texture is really beautiful. They're thick and they're smooth. Look at this. They really are. I didn't get um, Sis because I felt like Sis would be my lip color and yeah, no. I like this a lot. I had a feeling I would like this gloss. I like this gloss with this look, with this eye, with this top. We did a thing here, okay? Put a little bit more. Because we're grown and we can bow. Oh. 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 So, all of these glosses are a situation. The next gloss is So Glazed. So Glazed. And also, these are sticky, which is the texture that I like. Oh, ooh, oh and drippy. Okay. I saw other people um, having that issue, but I thought I could like catch it. I, I totally forgot about it. When you first pull it out, it's like a little something that comes out with it. Just a little gloss. It's like stringy or whatever, but I don't care. That doesn't bother me. So, oh, this is like iridescent pink. Can you see that good? Am I shifting that okay? This is a very nice... Very nice pink. I didn't get the gold one. Because gold's... Ooh. This is actually more... Oh. Hey. This looks good with the eyes, too. Everything looks good with the eyes. I love these eyes, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
And I also didn't get the um, clear one because I figured I have so many clear glosses. Um, I'm not checking for clear glosses right now. But it's the same formula as this, so. Ooh, look at this. These are glassy. What is it called? This is called the glass gloss. Indeed. It's glassy. She's sassy. Okay, and glass. So I paired Kiss Me with the Scorpio liner from Juvia's Place. Um, I like this. I like it with or without liner, you know. And just to be extra, extra, because I can, and because I like gloss, I'm going to add So Glazed on top of it. I know, it's a lot. Don't, okay, don't be scared. I'm here with you. Holy mackerel. Oh. Oh, somebody come get me. Somebody come get me. Ooh, I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, that's enough. All right, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna overdo it. I've already overdone it, but I'm not gonna over over overdo it. I'm gonna do the, and then I'm done. We're done. We're done. Okay, we're done. That's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and swatching with me. Please like and subscribe. Um to my videos i primarily do lip swatches on here but i also am trying to start getting into showing more makeup looks like how i do these eyes and things like that but um primarily i do do the lip swatches and this collection was so fire i loved it i, I specifically love the glosses the glosses are my vibe i love them a lot like this much actually like more than that but I just want you to see my hands. They're amazing. The new the um lipsticks, the texture is very much it reminds me of the Gucci lipsticks. So if you like that texture, they are powdery powdery, they are smooth, they have big color payoff. I do like the nudes. I can play with the nudes, I can hang with the nudes. Um and um what else? Yeah, so anyway. I'm so glad that you guys checked out my channel. Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you so much. Thank you for those of you who subscribed early on. I really appreciate you, and I really appreciate you shouting me out on Instagram and um, other places. You guys are really um, awesome for doing that. And um, what else? I do have some more videos coming up. I know I, I haven't been here for like a couple of days but I've been working, and then, like I said, like I got my period, and she takes over my life. Look, look what she did to my face. Look what she did. She petty. She petty. She petty. Mm, 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 she petty. Anyway, um, yeah, I have some other really cool stuff to swatch for you all very soon. Actually, this week, and also this week coming up, it's going to be National Lipstick Day, so I'm going to do a special upload on that day as well. So. I have my message. <sighs> I'm tired. I know you tired. But y'all stay strong. We're going to get through this. Ooh. These are like my favorite glasses, y'all. This is like the eighth time that I used them in a video. I don't care. I bought them. I'm going to use them. I'm going to wear them. I like them a lot. And when I get my coins up, I'm going to give me the real Fenty ones. These are the Fenty, P-H-E-N-T-Y glasses. So, Rona. Wait. Okay, there you go. Rona. Get in the house. Bye, y'all.